Hi, my name is Zara. Welcome back to another podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about top seven places to get ice cream in the summer. The first one I'm going to be talking about is Edina Creamery. Edina Creamery is located on 50th in France. And normally it's open for like, I think like during the weekdays, it's open until like nine maybe. And then on the weekends, it's open till 10, which is really nice. So if you ever want to get ice cream and it's a little bit late, you always have that option. Um, Edina Creamery. They have some cool flavors. Some of them, they have like seasonal flavors as well. And like pumpkin spice in the fall and like peppermint during like Christmas time. But that's like, I feel like that's kind of like their main like seasonal flavors that you might, might have heard of. But it they have really good ice cream flavors as well as the atmosphere. It's a really welcoming and cozy atmosphere. And some of the other flavors besides pumpkin spice and peppermint, like their seasonal flavors are like basic ones like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. They also have cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, um, as well as salted caramel. Um, And I think the location of it is really nice. There's a whole bunch of stores around it and the inside of it is just really cute the way they set it up. It is a smaller area, so it's harder to fit a big group of people in there, but overall, I really like Edina Creamery. I think it's a nice ice cream place. The next ice cream place that I chose to review is Sebastian Joe's. I feel like Sebastian Joe's is a really popular one. And a lot of people like to go there. It's a very popular ice cream shop. Normally, when I go there, they're normally open really late. Like, the one the one I'm thinking about, there's one on in Linden Hills by a whole bunch of restaurants, which is really convenient. And it's a really safe area, and it's super cute. And a lot of the time, it's open to, like, I want to say 11 on the weekends. And, like... Which is really nice because you can just like sit there for and just talk with your friends because they have outdoor seating as well as well as indoor. Like if it's winter, they still have like a whole bunch of seating. So that's really convenient. Um, They have a really wide variety of ice cream and it's a local favorite all around Minneapolis. Joe's is really known for like their creative and unique flavors as well as their staff. Their staff has always been really nice when at least when I go there. Some of for ice cream flavors some of their flavors include Pavarotti which is like banana ice cream with chocolate chips and walnuts. They also have like Nicollet Avenue Pothole which is a really interesting name but it's chocolate ice cream with fudge caramel and English toffee. And then my personal favorite, which I'm, I am always get when I go there, is raspberry chocolate chip. But I feel like whenever I go there, they have a new flavor that like hasn't been introduced yet. And they also, Sebastian Joe's also has seasonal flavors to, during the fall, like maybe like, I think they have apple cider and in the winter they get like eggnog flavors. Like it's really cool. They have... A wide variety and then in the summer it's like fruit flavors or like lemon sorbet so the third place I chose is Ben and Jerry's Ben and Jerry's I feel like has been along for around for a really long time and they keep they always are creating new flavors I like how they also sell their ice cream like at places like Target or even Walgreens they sell like their places. I find that Ben and Jerry's though isn't open as late, which kind of sucks when you really want it. But when you do get your hands on it, it's really good. And I really like the I really like the diverse diversity of flavors they have. It's really cool to see what they come up with. Some of the flavors are like chocolate fudge brownie or 
I know fish food is a popular one, and that's like chocolate chunks and swirls into their ice cream. They're also known for their commitment to social environmental causes, which I think is kind of cool. And every location, every location that they have is like a very like unique location. I know I've been to one on YZ, it's right by the lake and it's really nice. And then there's also one by like Punch Pizza and like Calhoun Market all around there. The fourth place I chose is McDonald's. McDonald's was kind of, it's kind of different from all these places because it's not like as local, but I feel like I come to McDonald's a lot during the summer for, um, for like a sweet treat or anytime I just want ice cream and it's a little later. And they always have their reliable like M&M, mcflurry or oreo mcflurry and then sometimes they'll have their seasonal like shamrock shakes or they come up with a i know they had some new mcflurries i don't know if they still have it anymore but um and then they have their basic ice cream cone and they're like vanilla and chocolate um and it's also pretty affordable it's not an expensive ice cream which i like the fifth ice cream place I chose was Dairy Queen. I feel like I don't see any more Dairy Queen locations in St. Louis Park. I know there used to be one on like Excelsior and it's sad that they took it down, but I still, there's one in Edina that I go to, which is nice, but they're f- really known for like their blizzards where it's like a soft serve treat and they mix it with the toppings um some of their flavors are oreo reese's peanut butter cup um and also with dairy queen they come out with they're always coming out with new flavors they have constantly like seasonal flavors or like limited edition which is really cool they also besides blizzards they offer treats like sundaes and like like banana splits cone like ice cream cones and also milkshakes and those are all like i've had all of them and they're really good and i think it's a good reliable one when you're looking for when you're just looking for ice cream or when you're really craving a treat sixth one that i chose was cold stone i feel like cold stone cold stone is a interesting place they have like a whole bunch of locations i know they have one in hopkins that's like i think the only one i've really been to but they have a unique concept where they mix your chosen ice cream flavor with mix-ins on a frozen on like the granite and you can watch them do it and it's like an interactive experience and you can personalize like what you wanted it or like what flavors and you can do like multiple flavors i think And they have a wide, like, variety of flavors. or And they have a wide variety of, like, mix-ins from fruits and, like, candies to, like, something more sweet, like, cookies and brownies. Um, But I think if you want something, like, if you want to, like, create something of your own, Cold Stone, like, Cold Stone is a good place to get that. It's also cool because Cold Stone, like, the ice cream is hand-folded. And they, like, use those, like, cool tools to, like, roll your ice cream. So. The last one I chose is A to Z Creamery. Um, This is in Hopkins. I think this is a really cool one because there's, like, a wait list for this ice cream place, which is never, like, I don't really hear about an ice cream place that has a wait list but you have to get on a list and then once you're on that list you finally get to like pick what ice cream you want you order it new flavor like for a to z creamery new flavors dropped every week and they like it's like a very like sneaky kind of drop 
and there's a very like limited supply and I think it's a really cool concept and like people definitely love it so it's interesting to see like how that works that's it for today's podcast um for the seven ice cream places i chose hopefully you get to go and visit one of these in the summer but that's it for today